What's up, guys? This is Coach Victor Bell, the general, founder of Warhorse Strength Camp and the Champion Development Academy, creator of the Champion Army, where I help male entrepreneurs get the edge in their business, bank accounts, bodies, and lives. You know, I'm under the podium here over at the beach, and uh, it's a little windy, raining outside today, and I wanted to kind of shoot you this message, and it'll be fast. You know, as we're ramping up and I'm bringing on 10 guys into this uh, training, this coaching that we're going to have over the next 30 days, and uh, one of the questions that I see or some of the challenges that I see from the guys that reach out to me um, come across as maybe about three things. You know, they're called it self-sabotage. That's one that I hear them say. Uh, two, it's like they start off and they kind of get cold and warm um, in some of their, their entrepreneurial endeavors. That's another one. And the other one is that uh, they were doing good at some point, had some ups and downs, and things slowed down for them, and uh, they don't know how to pick it back up. And let me say a couple of things, and this is a non-judgmental statement. And again, this isn't to motivate you um, to work with me or not, but it all boils down to one thing, and that's fear. You are afraid. You can call it what you want. You can say I started and I stopped. You can say that I sabotaged myself when I get close to the finish line. But in the end, here's what it boils down to. It's just fear. You're afraid. You're afraid to be who you're supposed to be. You're afraid to serve the mission that you supposedly have. And somehow along the way, you've had some ups and downs. And this turns you into, let's just call it what it is, somewhat of a coward. And when I say that, I'm meaning you cannot take charge. You cannot say, I have this mission. I have this business. I have this service that I provide. I have this um, investment that we're looking to acquire from uh, be it real estate or stocks or whatever it is that you do and then become this coward on the front line of the battlefield as it relates to making these things happen for you and your family and the world and the people that you're called to serve. Men, it makes absolutely no sense for you to take command of your life and then stop short to bring everybody to the front line with you saying, come on guys, follow me. But oh shit, I'm a coward and I'm going to cower back and expect you guys to go on without me or expect you guys to live without me or expect the provision that I'm supposed to be providing for you as a man to find its way into my life and your life, but I'm not gonna do shit for it because I'm scared to fail. Or worse, I'm scared to succeed. So when you take a look at some of the things you do or some of the things you should be doing and you find yourself scared to do it, you can do one out of two things. You can get help. Get a mentor, a coach, that's how it's done. Or you can bite down on your lip and just grit and bear it and stop being a coward and move forward. Because let me tell you guys, until you decide that you will no longer be afraid to win, and by not being afraid to win, that also means you're no longer afraid to lose, can you actually begin? It makes no sense to reach out to a coach or a mentor to just get your questions answered and not move forward because now you are just validating the fact that you're scared, the fact that you're afraid, even though you've reached out for help and it's almost bringing on a coach and a mentor takes a little bit of the pressure off of you because now you don't have to always think you can get direction and then execute that direction effectively. Where in your life are you being a coward? Where are you life? Where in your life are you just being afraid to move forward with the things that you know you should be doing yet you're not? And here's something to consider. Maybe you just don't have the strategies to overcome the challenges that seem so insurmountable, insurmountable because you don't want to. Because winning means that you have to keep winning. The success that you have in front of you means that you have all the tools necessary to make this happen, yet you choose to not, and then everybody would know that in essence, the first time was just a fluke, and because it's exposed you for what you really are, you can now fit in and be comfortable at just being the coward because that serves you more? Or do you find that you can better serve your family being who you're supposed to be, serving your mission that God put you on this earth to serve and finally step up and play the game necessary that's needed for you as a man? Now, if you want to reach out to me, go to championdevelopmentacademy.com, watch the video, fill out the application, let's talk. I'm bringing on a couple of male entrepreneurs to the champion army, that army of champions, champion men that 
want to succeed in all areas, get that edge back in their life and push forward for their families, for themselves, for that mission. Again, this is Coach Victor Bell saying create, apply, and flick. Panic, pressure, pain on yourself to stretch, grow, get badass results. Stop being a coward and wage war.